Hi guys, just gonna have another look at this Victor or Victor wildlife camera, trail camera. Bought it a while back. I've done a few videos on it. I'm still not happy with it, but I thought I'd answer some of the comments that I've received. Um, we'll just go through what it actually has on the front there. Up here is an array of infrared LEDs for lighting the subject. Over there is an LED that flashes when it's um, setting itself up to give you warning, a countdown timer. In the middle is the lens. On the right there's a light sensor, uh, LDR, light dependent resistor. You can actually see it quite clearly in there. So that switches off the infrared LEDs during the daylight. And then down here is the motion sensor or the um, motion detector. If I tilt it that way, you might be able to see there's a row of red uh, round circles across the front. So I'm guessing it might have, it might have several um, detectors in there or they may go back to a single point and they're sort of fanned out to spread the um, spread the range. Uh, one suggestion, Mike suggested it ought to have a white cover over it, because you can get those um, that spreads the range even wider. But I'm pretty sure, so say so looking at that, and if I twist the light, Right, well, you can see there's a row of circles go across the front there. And I think that's probably what it is. There's either a row of detectors or some way of actually funneling the, the light from different angles back to the actual detector. We might take, take it apart and have a look inside. Depends how daring I feel. Um, just to demonstrate this part working, if we switch it on, It'll start counting down in a minute once it's initialized itself. At the moment, no red light on the front. Give it a few more seconds. You don't have to do it this way, but I'll just demonstrate. 15 seconds. And only 55% battery. So if we shut that, you'll see that is flashing. That's letting us know that it's setting itself up. Okay, so it's now ready. So if I move something in front of it, it should take a picture. But because it can see it's daylight, it's not activating the infrared. So if I hold my finger over there, if I'm lucky, am I gonna be lucky? No, I'm not, I'm not dark enough. No, just not getting it dark enough. There we go. So as long as I've got that covered, it's detecting the movement. Yeah, I'm moving behind the camera now. But if I take that off, yeah, I'm still moving. You can probably see my hand moving, reflected in the LED array there. Oh yeah, that's my hand. Put that over there so it thinks it's dark. There we go. So, do I take it apart to have a look at that ray? It's got one, two, three, four screws. The only thing is it is supposed to be waterproof. So taking it apart might uh, damage its integrity. I'm going to put it on the table, see if I can undo those screws. Right, let's see if we can 
undo those screws. Okay, is that going to be an awkward thing on the... Yeah, I thought it might, that's sort of catching somehow. Push it through. Is it going to come off anyway? holding it. Right, so what have we got in here? Well, that's our LED array, infrared. That's the motion sensor. Yeah, it's a row of um, little lenses, isn't it, to direct direct the light to the sensor. Can we see those? I think we can. Oh, there. You can see them there. So that's a one, two, three, four, five lenses to direct the motion or direct the light to the motion sensor. LED, flashing LED, then that's the LDR, light detecting resistor, or light dependent resistor. I'm not going to take it right apart, this was just to have a look here at that bit. That actually looks like it's got a dirty fingerprint across it. I don't expect that will make much difference, but I will get a cloth to wipe it that microphone there yeah microphone there keep forgetting to move to the middle of the camera still not used to this um, phone that I'm using to film with. That's a USB connector. That must be for programming it or something. Because there's nowhere for that to connect to. So that's what it looks like inside. I'm, so so I'm, I'm not going to take that out. What's going to be on the other side? That screen and those buttons. I am intrigued by that USB there though. So, so I just think that's for program out. Over here we've got Four pins, ground, receive, transmit, and 3.3 .3 volts. So I would guess you can upgrade the software. Okay, can we get that back in? Oh, I was going to wipe that lens, wasn't I? I suppose I should have gone macro mode to show you the fingerprint, but I've wiped it off now. Yep, that's it. So can 
and get these screws back in. I need a magnetic screwdriver to do this, just to get them to line up. in off again One more. <laughs> oh dear, where did that go? Oh, there it is. Panic over. Zoom. Doesn't seem to be gripping, to be honest. No, it doesn't seem to be gripping. Right, so we're all back in anyway. Still working. Can we convince it it's dark? Countdown. I don't think we'll convince it it's dark in here because there's too much sunlight around us at the moment. No, even with my finger over there, there's probably light coming through the case. Right, we're in the dark now. Yeah, it's detecting this. If I take my finger off, are we still dark enough in here? Yeah, we are still dark enough in here. So, still works. So I think that's covered it. We've had a look inside, as far as I want it to go. We've established that that is the light dependent resistor to turn the LED display on and off, or at least to stop it flashing unnecessarily during daylight. We've had a look at the detector array or at least the array of lenses inside there to direct the motion to the actual detector inside and we know that that's the LEDs that flash just to let you know it's switching on and off or counting down and we've covered the actual menu before so if you haven't seen the other videos, check the video description and there'll be a link to the relevant playlist. Thanks for watching. There's always more information down in the video description. And if you like this video, you might like this one up here. And you might like to have a look at my channel over here. See what else I do. Thank you for watching.